Welcome back everybody to the adventures of House Mud and today we have ourselves what is essentially uh, and I'm, I'm looking at this as optimistically as possible what is essentially a fresh slate here in the form of King Salt a completely malleable boring old CK2 Game of Thrones character no traits no stats no congenital stats obviously a stack of bloodlines here which are for the better or for the worse there with all the negative animal opinion it gives us but besides that we are just a plain old character that we are going to try and turn it into hopefully something quite special now in, in preparation for this episode i've done a lot of research into the uh into just generally ck2 education making sure i had everything the right way around going into the game of thrones specific change to education as well the learning stat essentially in the game of thrones one it doesn't really do much for the base game it can affect certain traits appearing it has a higher chance if your guardian has a high learning stat for example your character can end up being erudite or chased i think the other one was not too relevant in the base game but in the game of thrones one it actually has a direct correlation to the chance of you getting the higher tier education so a kid with 50 learning for example will most likely always get the best education where a kid with zero will probably always get the crap one, right? So we want to sort of really think about that and invest into that. Might even be worth trying to, I don't know, somehow acquire some artifacts. I don't think you can steal artifacts as a babby, but I might try it. We'll, we'll see if we can do something along those lines. Um, what well, actually might be best, invite a bunch of people to our court with artifacts, hope they die, and then maybe we'll inherit some books or something along those lines. Anyway, we, we have an opportunity here to make something really, really good. All we've got to do while we wait for this character to grow is make sure this round doesn't fall apart. So it's it's very much us versus the game at this stage rather than trying to, you know, build the character, do the dinners, do whatever else. This we can essentially leave on autopilot. We've got to make sure the learning is high. We've got to make sure the Guardian is good. And the Guardian is good. We've got Silt the Loyal there. Our distant kinswoman. Uh, granddaughter of Soil the Vicious Viper. Another character who died in personal combat. Brilliant. Um, brilliant commander, obviously, she, she's incredibly good. She's got some incredibly good stats there. She's a level 3 fighter as well, so can potentially train us to be a decent level fighter. She's got Diligent, which also adds to the chance of our education being pretty good. So, to be honest, as long as we've got a good guardian, as long as we've got a maester helping out around the court, and as long as we've got uh, our master at arms, who in this case is also Silt there, working to train children, not a lot we can do. Not a lot we can do. So I'm going to make sure that first things first, I mean, a lot of people are asking for this, and I fully agree at this stage, things we can't really capitalize on it in the way that I want to, let's turn on auto stop plots. Let's turn on auto stop plots, let's make sure, I mean, can we have feast? We can maybe hold a melee, we have to be an adult for that, okay. Um, I don't think we can hold a feast or a tournament or anything like that, can we, if we're not an adult? That makes things very difficult. So the only way we can really improve Vassal opinion in that case is having a good diplomat and by sending them gifts. And obviously the, the funeral as well probably wouldn't hurt. Um, oh, so this is actually a good excuse to have a feast, isn't it? Because there's no other way we can host them otherwise. Spend all the money we can on this. Get some basic Vassal opinion and just sort of pray that this is enough to keep the round together. Now, what I should really check as well is what do our Vassals think of us right now? Actually, it's looking pretty promising. Um, Lord of Butterwell is that Meditheketh. There he is. Uh, Major of Narrow Seer's Tower. Lord of Winterfell does not like us at all. Title claimant. Once control of... Oh, castles in Winterfell. We can absolutely do that. Um, so we've apparently got these... Cold Spring. What else have you got then that you want that? As once control of the castle... Castle Kerwin? Where the hell is Castle Kerwin? I've got to ask. Um, okay, let's have a look then. Sort of see... We haven't got that personally, have we? Nope. Okay, so that must just be some distant... Uh, some, some distant vassal somewhere down here. I'm going to try and work out what he's on about. Oh! Right, a uh, Dijon Winterfell. Okay, so we've got we've got something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that explains it. Right, there you go. So we've just got some vassals. I thought we had um uh, like actual castles then for a second, like for example Coldstream. Right, okay, so we've got the duchy, but none of the titles that go along with it. Fair enough. Um <laughs> can't do anything about that. Oh, transfer vassalage, that I could do. Council still say no. Fuckers. Alright, um we might have to sack the council and start stack it. Or or maybe not sack the councillors. But we might be forced here to stack it with a bunch of loyalists. Once we've got that sorted out, we only really have to do it once, right? So let's put a bit of effort into this. I'm going to sort actually by opinion here um, for someone who's a good, who is a potential priest and someone who has a decent opinion. John Thor, first man, 14 opinion, also is trained in uh, in priestly manner. So I'm kind of hoping he is a suitable candidate here. Oh shit! Um, our council's really going to fuck things up, aren't they? They're going to ruin all of our opinion with all of our vassals. That's just part of the complaint of Game of Thrones. But unfortunately, is the council tend to be um, psychopaths, to put it to put it politely. What can we do then? What can we do to to deal with this? Um, <laughs> nothing. Sack our master of coin, replace him with. Uh, I mean, we might just have to go for full loyalists here. 
I can't think of anywhere else we're going to get around this. So sack him, which is going to piss him off even more. But he's got minus 65 opinion anyway. So fuck him. Um, Jonas instead. So that's going to give us some guy who likes us and is also fairly talented in what we've got going on here. We want to make sure that our Master of Laws is just the most skilled guy. Um, which he is right now. And he also kind of likes us too. Hand of the King. You need sacking. Who have we got with high opinion then? Robin, Lord of the Dreadfall. I would rather have some very, very loyal vassals on the council. And have some extremes in the opposite direction rather than just this sort of mixed bag going on right now. That guy kind of disliked us. Uh, or the guy that was on here before kind of disliked us. The other guy uh, kind of liked us. But now we sort of made it so this guy is a guaranteed loyalist, huh? Um, this is going to be so tricky. Our, our Master of Whispers also doesn't like us. Can we send him a gift? Can we send him an artifact? That might not hurt. Um, we've got a weirwood spear lying around. We've got a crown of winter. Again, it's not the crown of winter. It's one that we forged there. We could send that off for 32 opinion. At least it gets us out of the negative. Shit, this is going to be so tricky. Uh, let me let me quickly take out uh, an assessment for my own benefit here. Our first courses of action, really. Number one, pay off the debt, which I have set Lord Jonos the Able to do. And you'd hope with a name like that, he's going to pull that off. Then I've also made this one here. Amory Snow, our... She, she is our spy master now. She's got 19 inch remake and a good spy master. And I sent her the, that, that crown that we forged there. It's, it's just a quality two crown. So it's, we're, we're not really losing anything there, given that we've got decent crowns. You know, obviously, the crown of the, the, the rivers and the hills and the north and whatever else. And we've also got the storm crown if we need a fallback. So that's just a nice token gift for her there. Ah, oh, shit. Now, we can say no to this and piss off our vassals. All I spend 50 gold. I'm, I mean, I, I don't really have a choice here. Oh, my God. Silks could die. She's fine. Wow, that was uh, that was pretty risky. Thing about these feasts is they they are very very expensive in the Game of Thrones world because you have all these sub events as well. But it gives us an opinion. It, it gives us the ability to increase opinions with our vassals. Now I'm going to check in a second again if we can now dish out titles, given that we've uh, shifted around the council a little bit here and and see if they now allow me to give out some titles. Again, sort of classic CK2 catch 22. Council hate you because you won't give out titles, but you can't give out titles because the council hate you. Okay, um, so we definitely want to act against. The, the this guy here, the, the, not our landed vassal. So he must be arrested. That will give this guy 20 opinion. Um, that will also give him 20 opinion, but it will piss off the other guy more. To be fair, we could arrest him and then just ransom him out. That might even get some gold out of it. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, is she fine again? God damn, was that twice that she could have died there? She didn't get maimed or anything either, so that works out pretty well. That kind of makes me think that that might be a little bit... Oh, fuck me, this is expensive. Um, right, Winifrey must be arrested and made to answer for this. I think she escaped. Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. Are you serious? This is so expensive. This feast has cost us 500 gold. Again, if we say no, we're just risking throwing the whole realm into rebellion, and I don't think that's a war we can win right now. At least I tried. Is she okay? She's wounded. Well, I mean, we did pretty well. Now, let's be honest here. Lord Baron, oh, he's a vassal of a vassal, or oh, we've got Merit Thicketh, who's going to hate us, because I think we're actually in a feud, aren't we? Um, just dislikes us because we have all the mud bloodline, which has obviously been crushed handles. We also hated our predecessor, rival of our father. We can try and get 20 opinion with him, which our best case scenario is going to take him down to minus 80, so I feel like that's not really going to help out too much. Um, there's no pleas in this, man, so I'm going to do whatever saves us money, which is, oh, any of them. Actually, we took that guy in prison and ransom him out, though, couldn't we? Okay. Oh, shit. Evader Capsule is refusing to come to Emmons Rest to answer for his crimes. Now, raised his banner in rebellion. Um, we now have to sp spend another 136 gold to try and solve this, or we let him go free. Fuck me. Are you kidding me? So, not only do we spend the 136 gold, we also have to go to war. We could ransom him out, but he hasn't got any money to pay for his ransom. I I'm almost tempted to get let him go free. Oh, fuck. I'll leave him free. Whatever. Oh, it just won't do anything. He, he, he just would have gone as rebellion. Okay, that's fine. I'll take the 100 prestige rather than sinking us into any more friggin' debt. Because that alone is also going to contribute to... Uh... Oh, piss off, really. Okay, Arana must be, yeah, arrested uh, to, to yeah, trick her in prison. Again, we can banish her off. She, okay, we've done something there. That gains more vassal opinion. That gains more vassal opinion. Okay, that's not... Oh, my God, and winter reserves as well. This is unreal. This is unreal. The amount of cost that we've had to dump on this is, is fucking ridiculous. Um... We need this harvest now. I mean, I mean, it just gives us harsh winter, which lowers tax during winter and levy reinforcement. Right? Obviously, if we go to war, that's going to cripple us. It's going to destroy us. We can't afford it. We're 520 gold in debt here. All our guests leave, but we did at least get some vassal opinion out of those various events. It was expensive, but I mean, the question is now, can we give away some of these bloody titles? Uh, I mean, transfer vassalage. Now even less people are up for it. What the fuck are you talking about? Um... 
No particular vote on the matter. It's character act three. It's the zealots. We need to set the zealots on our council because those two guys alone are single-handedly ruining everything. So John Thor and our advisor. Oh, our advisor we can sack no matter what. Hey, get the fuck out of here. So if we put the advisor on the... Uh, a loyalist advisor on here. Have we got any loyalist advisors? Oh, shit. Sort by highest opinion then, who's also a lord. There you are. Stevron. Uh, wait. Oh, he's the zealot that we just sacked. Put this guy on then. Advisor John. Fine. Can we now give out these titles? Please, for the love of God. Those, those two guys were swaying it. Still not. It's still this fucking zealot. Everyone else, as it says there, is being swayed by the diplomacy rating of other voters. The only guy voting against it is this guy, and because everyone's voting in favor of him, they're all voting en masse, which is increasing the diplomacy rating. Okay, John Thor, you've got to go. I'm sorry, but you are being a prick. Um, what if I just sack him? Oh, Bonifer, if we put on the council, would just be a pragmatist, which is probably not a good thing, because now he also hates us, because we sacked him once before. Um, Bonifer is now a zealot as well. Okay, this is going to take a while, but bear with me on that one. This guy kind of likes his... Are you a zealot, though? I think they're always a zealot, aren't they, in that position? No, I think we're good. Oh, my God. What a, what a, what a complete hassle with that. There we go. All right, a little bit of council management there. Seems to have worked out pretty goddamn well. That's going to make this guy, hopefully, like us quite a lot. Because we're transferring a bunch of vassalage to him here. And he's getting his whole domain back together. Let's turn up our borders quite nicely. You just want to do this anyway, huh? Right, are we good? Minus 67. What the fuck are you talking about? Domain too big. Six out of four. Fair enough. We'll deal with that in a second. Female heir. Not a lot we can do about that. Foreign conqueror. You can get fucked. We had the north first. Um, zealous lack of funds is minus 10. So that will disappear. To be honest, a lot of this is temporary modifiers. So I think if we just sort of hang tight and sort of uh, brace for the worst. If we give away two titles, that's also going to sort of help out things a lot. So we're going to give away Seaguard to ideally a member of House Mud. Um... <sighs> God, this is not good, is it? Right, Slate, who have you got? Marble? Uh, Earth, your descendants. Let's take a look here. Callus. Callus is unlanded. Callus Mud. Take it. Take Seaguard. You know what? It's, it's your birthright as a member of House Mud. Take this off my hands. What else have we got? We've got God's Fort. Right, we've got Hayford as well. We shouldn't have Hayford. Doesn't make any damn sense. Um, we have the Duchy of Hayford. Right, right. So we can make ourselves quite a loyal vassal here. Let's give it to this guy. Grant landed title. The Lordship of Hayford. There you go, my friend. How are we looking now in terms of vassal opinion? Okay. Better. It certainly looks a little bit better here. Now we've only got a handful of vassals. What's that? It's under half our vassals, judged by the scroll bar there, that hate us. But we've got a lot of quite loyal vassals too. Um, and these guys are, are dukes. What are these guys looking like? Now, they look like they're dukes, but these guys are, of course, infantry bands too. It's a bit of a mixed bag, really. It's kind of difficult to tell. What about our factions? Nothing we have to worry about yet. I mean, this one's getting a little bit dangerous. Lord Measure of the North, the guy I just gave all that fucking land to. We could chuck him an artifact. Oh, I mean, do we want the Sable Cloak? Probably not. Do we want the Weirwood Spear? Probably not. What gives us the most opinion here? Storm Crown, he's not having that. He can fuck off. Send him a glass candle for 74 opinion. Avoid a rebellion for a candle we can't even use? Yikes. How much did we spend? It, it, like it was like 300 gold we spent on that, wasn't it? But it gives us 74 opinion. I'm going to do it. Because we can always take it back if you catch my meaning. We can, always, we can always take that back later on. Right, let's ransom some prisoners out. See if we can get out of debt. And then that... Should ensure a little bit of peace while we grow. I think I think this was definitely a necessary uh, sort of precautions to take. Okay, we can ransom out one person for 26 gold. Phenomenal. What can we do for money then? Um, actually nothing right now. We can't sell artifacts. Can hit the ransom all prisons button, but I don't think anybody is going to agree to that, are they? Um, marries you please, whatever. Yeah, I don't think we don't think we ransomed out anywhere there, did we? Okay, now we've just got to pray. Now we've just got to sit here and pray and hope that we aren't murdered horribly. Fabricate a claim. Pack that in. Pack that in. We can try and imprison her, to be fair. Oh, council say no? Because why? They're all returning favors to Silt the Loyal. Silt, this affects the stability of the council. Really? Okay, that's annoying. Silt, I thought you were loyal. She won't end the plot. And she's trying to fabricate a claim on the what again? On the kingdom of the rivers of the hills and the nick and the north and the, and the, the rivers and the hills. God damn, and all the council are up for it as well. Fuck me. Well, I'm going to keep a very close eye on that. 72% is way too dangerous. We can individually ask the plot backers to stop backing it. If they refuse, we have reason to imprison them, at which point we send a marshal over there and chuck them in prison. Then they can't really do much from uh, from the confines of their cell. To be fair, we could... Oh, I was going to say ransom them out for gold, but it turns out house thicketh wallets are not very thicketh. Come on. Uh, did he say no? Has he, has he refused it? Or are we still waiting back to hear from his, uh, from his diplomats? Uh, he said no. He's acted dishonorably towards us. It's 42%. Send Silt in. Uh, we need a priest. Uh, John Thor, welcome back, you dick. Okay. So, chance... Oh, wow. That's 25% bonus. It's still a bit risky. And we are risking, basically, a full round rebellion here. So, who is likely to be a rebellious vassal? We've got this guy, this guy, this guy. Um, that's a mercenary band, so I don't think they can actually really do anything, because they're not landed. 
So we're looking at four, five Dukes, maybe. Potentially six, seven, eight Dukes. <sighs> House Raider also against us. Eight Dukes is quite quite significant, isn't it? And that's assuming they all go for it, which, to be honest, they probably won't. I mean, this guy's probably not going to rebel because he wants Osric of the North, for example. House Tully, that's almost certain. Um... 42%. Let's, let's let that tick a second so it can get the new calculation. 64%. Um, It's risky. It's a, it's a big risk, but it would stop him back in that plot, huh? <laughs> Fuck it. I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to roll the dice because I, I don't want to really have to babysit this kid from the age of 0 up to the age of 16 meticulously like this. He's now raised to flying rebellion. If anyone else backed him? No. That's great news. That's, oh, what I should have done is really raised my troops and put him in his damn capital, because then he definitely wouldn't have said no. No one else backed him. That's great. That's fantastic. Okay, we've got rally points set. We don't. Brilliant. Okay, like, let's quickly send him over to uh, Emmons Rest, and I'll just be careful we don't uh, we don't send these guys around. Okay, this is fine. I think this is actually fine. No one else has backed him in this one, because I think they know he's in a bit of a losing war. So we've got 9,000 men versus his. Ooh, don't do that. That's a bit rude. Um, oh, my God. We can't even get away from it. Oh, fuck off. All right. Um, drop those troops then. Fine, we'll stop. Try and fight him over the river or something. Oh god, he's actually he's actually going for that. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, fine, retreat out. Whatever. I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll be able to manage this. Okay, he's gonna go siege the the very important province of Haraway Town. Thank you, ten gold. I'll take it. You gotta remember, all of our troops have lower morale as well because we have no money. Um, seriously, that's how you get over that crossing. Oh, fucking good god! All right, <laughs> bear with me. Oh, and a Peasant Revolt. Fantastic. Good, good, good timing on that. We'll deal with that in a second. How many troops have they got? Because the Peasant Revolts tend to be fairly brutal. Oh, oh, a whole 800. Wow. Um, <laughs> do you guys want to just, just want to change direction? You just want to change direction and go, uh, go kick these guys in the, in the head? Right, so we've got 3,500 troops there. I think we're probably good with just these guys. Now, how can we get to that area? So we're going to have to cross back over here and go up round through... I don't think there's any way to actually get there short of taking a river crossing... Yeah, that's really annoying. We'd have to go all the way up through the 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 twins. Oh, God damn. Okay. Um, I mean, if we get good enough commanders, it won't matter regardless because we're only taking. Well, I mean, a river crossing at the end of the day, right? Hosta, Sil. Oh, speaking of which, we've got some pretty incredible commanders. Oh, we could also hire our mercenary bands, couldn't we? We could just raise those straight up in the capital or not? Um, can't afford the cost. Oh, they do cost. Of course, we can't afford the cost. We're in bloody complete debt. This should be fine. This this is this is kind of risky. I will admit. Are they Andal? So they get that bonus to their. Uh, yep, so they get a bonus to their troop count as well. We should, still should be good, given that he's got no commanders on his flanks. Yeah, he's, he's done for. Okay, that was, uh, that was a little bit messy there to start off with, but I think we're, I think we're all right here. People are sacking my counselors, which we can do absolutely. Slain in direct combat by Merit Thicketh. Merit Thicketh, you are... I just retreated a battle against 23 men. That counts as a defeat. That counts as a fucking defeat, even though they were the ones fleeing. Um, I don't know why I'm chasing that army down. Don't worry about it. My lord, you make a good point. Let's not piss off any of our vassals here. Dangerous revolt is broken out in Nun's Deep. <laughs> Luckily, Cassus Bellow no longer in Val... What? Instantly? Okay, that's fine. Not complaining. I'm not, I'm not complaining. That's the opposite. That's the opposite of what I'm doing right now. Right, let's get this, let's get these province siege down, huh? What happens with that, uh, with that other revolt we sent those troops after? Oh, we beat them in one battle, but that wasn't quite enough to finish them off. Fantastic. All right, one down. Let's bring the rest of his troops down for sieging purposes. Um, so in the future, maybe remember to uh, put troops in their province before they go into rebellion. Thank you very much. Can we execute him for a bit of fear? Now, fear is, is obviously a system that we really can abuse, even as a child. So fear will hopefully stop them joining. Well, I mean, it will. There's no hopefully about it. It will literally stop them joining uh, factions and whatnot. So if we've got any righteous executions here, um, we should call these people for trial and then just try and lop their heads off uh, in a way that would give us fear if possible. Uh, beheaded and hang. That's it. Fuck it. All right. Um, you, I'm going to ransom out because I very desperately, desperately need the gold right now. Thank you very much. We're almost out of debt. So that's another 10 opinion we're going to gain with our vassals here. I'm going to call these guys for, I mean, there's no point calling them for trial because we can't actually execute them in a way that causes fear. Um, I don't know. I could think of a few ways, but that's all right. <laughs> Involves a horse. Oh, no, I'm wrong, wrong series. Okay. Um, we have open position for advisors. So let's get Devin Lord of the Neck. He was, he was found in factions a minute ago. Now is on the council. So that should please him. Um, can name you Hand of the King. You'd think that would make him like us a little bit, but he's probably going to be a dick about it. Oh, he's South Sword Infantry. I shouldn't have done that. Doesn't matter too much, but, uh... Okay, let's get some siege and done. Let's get this war over. House Thicket can 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 die. House Tully I should have wiped out when I had the goddamn chance, because they're causing me even more problems. Um... We could just imprison her. I might go for her afterwards. Council say no, but I'm sure we can, uh... I'm sure we can find a way around that. What a weird mixture of traits our sister has. 
Wow, okay, I guess we'll go for diplomacy then, because she is just a complete fucking absolute mess of a character. But no, we've got rich childhood. It's kind of hoping we'd have something that would happen now, but I guess we're, we're two, so I don't know. I don't think two yards can be considered quite sentient yet, can they? So hopefully we'll start getting some events soon where we can start driving this game. We've got to think, what do we want to turn him into? Uh, I think the obvious answer should be the world's best commander who's ever lived ever, which... I mean, we're not getting off too badly there. Marshal 1, Intrigue 1, the age of 2. That seems promising. We've obviously gone for Struggle as well, so Rowdy, Willful. Um, what were the ones that actually help out with the Marsh Focus? It's not Rowdy and Willful, is it? It's, it's, uh... Actually, I think it might be in hindsight. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've uh, since we've actually educated any kids in this game. Seeing as our characters either live for 80 years or die within the first bloody combat they get into. Okay, just see just one down. Then we'll see what else we can do for a little bit of ram stability here and there. I'd love to get rid of House Tully because those are really just a thorn on our side still, even now. We've, bought them, we've literally bought them to their knees and they're still plotting against us despite all this. What did you just grant him? Someone just... Someone just granted themselves... Granted this fucking woman old stones. I didn't give permission for that. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is the problem with Regencies in, uh, in... Oh, that's cool, though. This problem with Regencies in the Game of Thrones mod is that they have a lot of power. I mean, it, it is obviously thematic and kind of correct for the Game of Thrones mod, though. There you go. I'm pissing off more of my counselors. And they can do that against Landy Vassals, too. So, for no reason, for completely random circumstances, we can get a minus 15 opinion. And there's, like, really nothing we can do to control that. There we go. That's the end of that one. Thank you very much. Right, Merit Thicketh. Um, can we... We could take... We can take his spear... Um, which will release him from prison. I want to execute him. Let him bend the knee. We can gain 10% chance of his gaining patient. Send him to the dungeon. Can we execute him? Because he is a... Let him rot. Execute prisoner. Yes, we can. We can actually do that. Because he is a traitor to his vassal. Council are well up for it. Gloryhound dislikes him. Change fear by 10 because we crushed a rebellion. That actually works out pretty well in hindsight. Beheaded Hank. Can we do anything else that's more fearful? Um, I guess hanging is a little more... Don't know, which will make him suffer more? I, you'd assume hanging him, right? Because beheading's pretty instantaneous. There you go. He's gone. What do you think of me now, then? Because I executed your kinsman. Minus 20. Yeah, I'll forget about that in no time, huh? I'll forget about that. Don't... Just never forget who gave you uh, gave you everything. How sticketh. Right, River Run, you're next on my kill list. Because it turns out that might be a good way to really emphasize our control over the realm. Just execute all your vassals. That works, right? We need to make Silt like us. We've actually got money, so we can start buying favors. We can start sending gifts. We can start doing all sorts of things to line the pockets of our counselors. Um, we need to give her 50 gold, but she doesn't like us enough to actually want to buy a favor. So we could try and send her a gift first. There's no guarantee this will still work because of the, the, the conflicting interests. Send her a spear. That would work out kind of well, because that way if she also gets into personal combat, bear in mind she is our marshal, so she might. Might even, ha might even save her life. And that is a... Oh, that's not even our spear. Lord Elric the Unsleeping. Okay, I don't care about that. And then I thought that was a spear of House Mud, but I think we lost that, didn't we? Um, yeah, take it. Whatever. Take, take this random weirwood spear. There you go. That's a fine gift. And now you will let me buy a favor, won't you? <laughs> you fucker. All right. Yeah, no, still not. Okay, that, that's not really much of a surprise. That's a shame, because that means that the only way we'd actually be able to stop House Tully in their tracks would be to imprison House Tully. Because um, she's bought a favor from just about fucking everyone. Is there any way to see... Uh, there is a way to see how long that'll last, won't it? Um, eight months. Wait eight months. How did she get enough money for that? Wait eight months, and then we'll try again the second these favors disappear so she hasn't got a chance to buy a whole new bunch of favors. I'm going to try and keep 100 gold in this treasury at all times so we can buy a couple of favors so we can send gifts out if necessary, but I do st want to start cancelling out the negative morale that the weird butcher has given us. Granted, it is, it's going to be able to fund the rest of the round's construction, so I think it was kind of still necessary. So we want to get the next level of patrol post, or, or patrol post full stop. Then we also want to get the training ground, so that way it's going to cancel out and we're going to get the, the bonus, what's it, reinforcement rate from those? Yeah. So that will work out pretty well because we're getting a ridiculous amount of attacks. Those butchers are so good, but obviously you do need to, do need to actively try and balance it there. I'm going to, shall I leave the army standing? Because it's another eight months before we can go to war with the Riverlands. We're just basically throwing money away there. So I'm going to keep a very close eye on this. Four more months. And then we'll get the army together. We'll stand them on River Run. We'll send Silt over there to also enforce the arrest. Actually, do we want them to go into the rebellion? That's a great question. We probably do want them to go into the rebellion, don't we? So then we can crush it all in one fell swoop. And if you've got a whole army in River Run all ready in advance... Okay, I like this idea. I like this idea. Um, oh God, we've got loans as well. Uh, so I think it was the original Soulborn point out yesterday as well. That the, the, the issue with some of the loans as well is it's a loan owned by the Crown rather than the vassal of the crown. So, if any of our vassals default on the debts, if their houses die out, whatever else, we inherit their debts along with it. Which is kind of a penny to ask. Can we get situations like this where people who we've never seen before in our lives are demanding money from us? So, 
I guess we'll have to pay it. Otherwise, it's going to piss everyone. I suppose I could have told her to go fuck herself. I think you get a negative tax malice or something like that. Offend money lenders or something along those lines. Oh, wow. Um, we've got a prosperity event. Okay. Um, that's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, oh, it's probably not a prosperity event. I think this is just one added by Game of Thrones mod, right? 400 gold. 400, $400 reduce. Small Riverman City in Godstown. Now, what that give us? Some... Oh, my God. It gives a tax income of an additional 3.3. That's quite a lot. Bear in mind, we only get, what, 75% of the tax? Because it's not... It's under a vassal, but that's still quite significant. Um, yeah, the troops are the other thing I'm really looking at here. Another 200 infantry... Uh, sorry, 375 light infantry, 200 archers. Garrison side increase is not relevant. The fort level increase is not relevant either. And it would normally cost 3,200 gold to upgrade that? No, 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 no. That's not how that works. Um, oh, actually, it might be. Upgrade holding. Would normally cost 4,000 gold to upgrade it. This is a great deal. This is a great deal. We're paying a tenth of the usual price. But it would... I mean, basically catapult us straight back into debt again. You know i got to do it, though. Because, I mean, that's such a great deal. How could I not? Oh, that's why I could not. Immediately, this guy then comes after loan. So, minus 25 opinion with Lord Roderick. Um, if we give him Potting Tower, he will cancel the debt. And he gains, I mean, Potting Tower, which is... I, I don't know if that would be a military command then, because obviously he's a landed character. No, you'll have your coin. You'll have your coin. That's unfortunate. But even with the coin that was given to him... Ah! Gold ingots for sale. Nice work. Okay, that's a start. Um, our half-daughter wants to be married off. I'm oh, sorry, our half-sister. Yeah. No, you're okay. Yeah. Do you want to take the vows? I mean, that wouldn't be such a bad thing, to be honest, because you are I'd, definitely is not a character I ever want to play as, ever. Um, no, I don't want to arrange a patrol between her and me. Thank you for the offer, though. Who have we got? Viserys Umber. That'll do. Matrilineal. Boom. Problem solved. You're welcome, by the way. She, she doesn't want the marriage. She's saying, hey, make me a marriage. Make me a marriage to... I mean, he's a bastard. A foul somber, apparently. No, I command you to proceed. Fuck off. Oh, good. So, what does this mean? The High Septum has decided to open a spot approach in Wycombe. Where is Wycombe? Um, Wycombe. There it is. Okay. Uh, I shall throw these invaders into the narrow sea. I guess we have really no choice. High Septum declares one. Wait, the High Septum himself is coming for us. I mean, that's a valuable guy to trick in our prison. He's got some books as well. Remember what I said about books? What do we need to equip them? Tell me. Nothing. Faith of seven. That's boring. Um, you need to have a learning level of eight. You need to not be incapable. Okay, well, we could potentially do that. Learning of eight isn't so difficult. Learning of eight. Is it just you just need learning of eight to read books? Okay, this is good. We check this guy in prison. Suddenly, we can get a bunch of uh, extra lot of bonuses here. And if it's just like the 2.5% movement speed, still that's still pretty decent. I mean, that one's also pretty decent. Um, I guess we're at war with the high septum now. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. 7,000. There he is. 7,400 men. Um, I did say near Wickham. Wycom. Uh, you're not wrong. Damn, we've actually not got enough troops for that. Do they always have the same amount of troops as you? Is that how this system works? I mean, it's not quite the same, but that's really that's really frustrating. Okay. Um, and we have no gold either, so all of our troops are going to have low morale. Ugh. All right. <laughs> We're in for one of those. Oh, fuck off. Lands. Uh, Clement lands. No, no, no. We... we... I, I mean, I don't know what I can do here. So how many... Uh, uh, we're looking at 1,700. We're looking at 4,000. Okay, so they've already got enough troops to beat us as well. I don't know what I can do. I say I have no choice. They gain everything. I say I will not be blackmailed. And we have to fight 7,500 men coming from the High Septum. And over 8,000 men coming from these guys. And I don't know how I'm going to do it. Because I've also got no money. Shouldn't have built that castle, huh? I, who, who in their sane mind would not build that castle given it cost a tenth of the regular normal cost? I will not be blackmailed. Obviously, we have to fight them. We have really, really no choice here. Um, I don't know how the hell I'm going to win this. Okay, keep things pause a second. Uh, let's go for... Right, what can we do? What can we do? Put you up, put on you, you on the council. We've got righteous imprisonment. We can't righteous that we could righteously imprison. Ransom them back out. Make some money out of it. She's got no money. You've got no money. You've got 73 gold, and we also can't imprison you because he's immune to hostile actions. Fantastic. Okay, this is going to be bad. I'm not going to lie, this is going to be very bad. We must seek aid. Spend another 50 freaking gold. <sighs> I mean, well, let's try it. He says no. He says no. He says no. Oh my god, has everyone just said no? 50 gold just pissed away again. <laughs> this, this is a hard campaign. This, this is a goddamn difficult campaign.
plus side, it looks like for whatever weird reason, that actual faction about the guys who wanted to take uh, everything didn't work. It just didn't work. Um, oh, probably because they've... I don't know. I was going to say maybe they've they've joined our war against the High Septon as a as an ally, but clearly it just didn't fire, which I'm not complaining about at all. I'm not complaining about that at all. Obviously, when the debt's paid off, then they'll get the general opinion back, and that might be enough to to counteract the faction demands, um, or maybe it means <laughs> at least make them like us a little bit more. Damn, this is going to be hard either way. Even even if those guys aren't a war, what do you want? Do you want alliance? King of the Rock West? Oh, Westman House of Lannister. They're Andals though. I don't know if I can stoop that low. My half-sister to Prince Tyrak. Oh, shit. That's a hell of an offer. That's a hell of an offer. It is House Lannister, who were obviously first men at one stage. We could try and bring them back. Oh, they've got nothing left, though. They're just... That's why they want to marry into us, because they have nothing left. They're just, I mean, Lords of the Rock in all but name. In only name, I should say. Uh, decline. No, you know what? I'm not. I'm not sacrificing my my morals and my opinion just for that. Oh, this is cool. Um, okay, our first event. There we go. Four years old. Finally, we're able to think for ourselves. The stable master shows you a fine pony and lifts you on it. Not again. No, not another series. I refuse. It's time that you learn how to ride. Faster, go faster. Six percent chance we're getting playful. Oh, there's one of three options. We can either get playful, rowdy, or wounded. Ideally, rowdy because we're going for the stewardship. So, uh, sorry, we're going for the martial education. So, exactly absolutely right now, we're going to be wounded. We got playful. Okay, not bad. Gregarious, deceitful, lunatic. Um, actually, that's not bad at all. I mean, Gregarious and deceitful are both incredibly good traits, especially when you don't want to be murdered. Hammer out of deck. Good, good. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, Lord John Ostable, dead as dick. So on the plus side, we can put someone else on the council now and hopefully get some opinion out of it. Um, Lord of Winterfell, we can bring on the council. A guy who did hate us not so long ago is now going to be, a, I, I assume, a, quite a big fan of us. Yeah, 44 opinion, I'll take that. You start collecting some taxes. Help me keep my treasury afloat, because apparently we're not very good at that. New crown of winter added to our treasury. What? Who do we give that to? Who has died? Oh, this woman. Right. Died a natural death at the age of 49. Yeah, okay. Our spy master died then. Okay. That's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. We can we can put another... I mean, this guy could potentially work quite well in our favor. Why don't you like me then, all of a sudden, House Durandon? Um... Friday the council, council job change, despite the fact that you're clearly on the council. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you an artifact so you shut up. And also don't murder me. Oh, there we go. We actually got the opinion for being on the council there. Nice. 48 opinion with our spy master is also house to random, which seems like a pretty uh, pretty cool spy master to have. We're starting to get together a decent force here, capable of uh, capable of fighting the high septs. And oh, were we just able to... Have, was that 5,000 more troops? Did my, do, do my eyes deceive me? We might actually be able to do this. Holy shit, that's 10,000 men overall. Again, because he's the High Septum, apparently that makes him incredibly good at leading troops compared to us. Uh, well, I don't care about that. Um, but, you know, because we have the backwards coach modifier and whatever else. That's so a little bit frustrating, but hey, you know, it's, it's all right. We should be fine. We, we, we are numbered them by, what, 2,500 troops. I don't think a backwards coach modifier is going to make that much difference. He says, apprehensively, bearing in mind everything else we've seen in this campaign. Um, ask the vassal politely. I don't want to piss off any more vassals, thank you. And I especially don't want my good friend Carol Durandon to die. Fucker. Oh, it was it was House Tully. Can we can we imprison you yet? Yeah. Are we up for that? Returning favors. This guy has probably bought favors off everyone, I assume. Uh, Captain Jason the Mild. Jason the Mild is going to be Jason the Fired in a second. Right, let's head across the river. Let's head across the river and stop them cutting us off by, by sort of locking down that river crossing there. We've got enough troops to make this work. We know we've got good commanders. Let's put them to good use. We've got Hosta, we've got Sil, and we have Elmar. 25, 25, 24. What do you think? Let's also also balance this unit, and let's just, let's just rock them. Let's rock them. Well, they've got... The, we're not taking any river crossings. There's no forest. There's nothing. This should be a fairly safe battle. And we've got... There we are. Gandalf with the, with the Rohirrim himself. Coming in. Coming in at our final hour to save the day. Otherwise, we'd have been absolutely screwed there. It's the High Septon leading troops. He is. Good. Oh, all the way down in Ironwood. Coward. Okay. Well, that was good. Nice work. Okay. You're going to give me some money for that, aren't you? A whole $200 reduce and we gain 200 prestige. Nice. Okay. I'll take that. That's not too bad. Master Medjer, you lifesaver. Oh, sorry, Lord Medjer. Sorry, that's really offensive. You are a lifesaver. Hundred. I'm not spending a single penny. I'm not spending... Oh, okay, what I'll do then is up. I'm going to spend a single penny. What I think is we should let... Oh, didn't have a crown focus all that time. We should keep 500 gold in the treasury. That way we've always got to get out of jail free card in terms of mercenaries, right? If, if things do go shits up. Um, right, so let's, let's keep focusing on our upgrades. 
says you keep 500 gold in the treasury. Immediately goes down below 400 gold. Don't worry about that. We can, we can get back up to that quite quickly. We've got a decent amount of money balance here. As long as we keep... No, I, I, stop bothering me. I'm sorry, Trade Master. I can't afford it right now. We can even line some of our vassals' pockets, too, if we really wanted to ensure that we've got... Should let's go by factions instead of just go, going by opinion. Um, let's go once independence. I'm on the cold of the trident. Why don't you like me, Alma? Foreigner. Rich, I mean, that's ridiculous. These people have lived in these lands for thousands and thousands of years. Send him some gold. That'll shut him up. Um, well, I mean, it's a start. It's, it's a, it puts a dent in shutting him up. Uh, Osric. Osric of... Oh, sorry. Robert the Plain of Wolfswood. Um, envious female heir, foreign conqueror, religious differences. Send him a gift. Send him a gift. That will actually shut that guy up. Okay, this is looking pretty good. To say that these are the factions we're up against now. I'm seeing a lot of green here. I'm seeing a lot of green. This guy, what's wrong with you? Uh, zealous again. I mean, zealous, zealous faith of the seven is always going to be our biggest problem here. We could have just kill off House Grey Castle. You guys are very, uh, you guys are very up your own ass considering, uh, considering we haven't got anything left there, my friend. Wouldn't it be a shame if he were to suddenly die horribly? I'm going to send him a gift though, just to, just to keep him happy. Keep him on side. That's dealt with our factions. You know what? I think we're stable. I think we can actually let some goddamn significant amount of time tick for now. Fire has been pushing you around and finding ways to make your life miserable at every turn. I'm not afraid of you. We become rivals with her, but there is a 60% chance of getting willful, which we absolutely want. And we got it. Thank God for that. I could have sworn them for a second. I could have seen it happening. Wounded. Wounded, followed by another doubt, uh, another dose of wounded there. So hopefully now we can just sit here and focus on this character. Focus on his education. Focus on his personality traits. Make sure he ends up being half decent. When he's of age, we'll send him on a foreign tour as well. See if we can get something else out of that. In command is no longer affecting us. That's because we're five. That's, this is always true. You don't need a pop-up for that. We are five. The bounty on House Tully, 300 gold. <laughs> um, I am half tempted. Uh, she is, why, why can't we imprison her? What the hell is she doing? So she's considering another offer from us. Oh, what, to end her plot, maybe? Okay. I mean, if that's the case, then, then we have no reason to imprison her. Yeah, she did. We're safe. We're actually safe. Every, everything's good. I know this has been a fairly uh, tumultuous episode in terms of diplomacy and wars and whatever else, but honestly, look, look at how far we've come. I think, I think this has been I think this has been pretty well handled, all things considered. The treasury has never looked any better. 667 gold, almost a cursed amount. We've actually done some building as well. We've got a pretty decent castle. We're alive. That's That, I think, is fairly significant, given that we've still got female heir. We've got zealous vassals who are a different faith to us, etc., etc. We're doing okay. Traits-wise, we're also doing pretty good. Hopefully tomorrow, then, because we bought, I mean... And we have a male heir. Problem solved. Arson. That's an incredible... It doesn't fit the naming scheme, but I love it. Earth. Earth Mud. Earth is a powerful name. Earth is a very powerful name. Let's, um... I mean, obviously, we've got to train this kid, right? Give him a struggle. We've got struggle. Oh, but he's not our kid. That's fine. That also works. We should also educate him alongside us, I guess. And hopefully, we'll become friends with our heir. Works out pretty well. Um, yeah. So, train him as well. Nice work. So, we've got ourselves an heir that we're also educating... In a sort of similar manner to ourselves there. So this should work out pretty goddamn well. That's dealt with our female. I, I, I think this has been a great episode in terms of Ram stability. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. Remember where, earlier when I was like, oh, it's about half the bar? Look at that. I think we're down to about a quarter now. And we could always just send gifts to these guys. You know, we could just, just give this guy what? Like, uh, there you go. Boom. That's all yours. We've got, we've got those cash. We might as well, we might as well dish out a little bit, huh? As long as they don't want too much. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. There you go, my friends. Here, have, have plenty of gold. And that means tomorrow now, we can just... We can just sit here and let a shitload of time tick and actually get on with some character progression. Get on back on track with uh, hopefully dealing with all of these uh, other problems. Like the Andals, for example. All of, all of this shit still. Final thing I want to do today is see if we can stack up a decent marriage long in advance. See if there are any uh, prodigy characters. Actually maybe try and breed some. I don't think we've had... Oh, that was a bit worrying. I don't think we've had a single character with any good form of... Uh, any good character with any form of congenital trait, have we? I think we might have had one character with powerful, but besides that, actually, I'd love to get powerful back into this dynasty. That would be incredible. Um, powerful or strong, being that we're going to be at war, you know, constantly. Uh, women, women, w did I make a slot for marriages? Women, diplo range, preferably. Join court, I mean, married, preferably not as well. Ruler, uh, preferably not, because they're not going to accept it because of the Game of Thrones, but obviously they've got that sort of failsafe against that. Right, save that as filter three. Let's see what we've got to deal with. Actually, there's a lot. This is good. Um, she's like uh, attractive and powerful there. She's a Valyrian. Just a random low form Valyrian girl. She could be perfect. Um, I mean, if we could find like powerful prodigy, powerful genius, powerful quick, that would be better still. You know, I'll take powerful attractive. That's, that's more than enough. Thank you. Arrange marriage between her, a random, I'm sorry, arrange betrothal between a random low born girl and the emperor of most of Westeros. We're too young. You can fuck off. What do you mean we're too young? Matrilineal and then break it and then keep her in our court? Um, 
children were too young as five years in it. You're weird. Oh, send him a gift. Fine. All right. Okay. I see where you're going with this. Have my cloak. I mean, was the cloak any good? I don't want to send it away if it gives us bonuses. Prestige. Don't give a shit then. I would rather I would rather try and get this wife. Where's she gone? Because this is a once in a blue moon type of thing. Powerful and attractive is so good. Um, yeah, take this take this sable cloak. Thank you for No! Ah, oh, I didn't mean to send it to her, bollocks. Uh take the sable cloak, please. Please accept first. Uh come on, composition. Oh god, I think I think I just sent it to her rather than him. That may be a problem. That may be a problem, I won't lie. It's okay. So there we go, thank you. Oh, good god. Alright. How about now? She she says, also, thank you. What a splendid object. Of course she does. Range patrol, though, her to us. He's up for it now. That is a hell of a wife right there. I'm, I'm happy with that. That's a really great note to end this on. Realm, stability is achieved. Treacherous vassals dealt with. Health thicketh. Ha health? Ha sorry? House thicketh clapped. And I combined it all into one word. That's what we get for making stupid jokes. Thank you all for watching. Let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons that made this absolute adventure possible in the first place. A big thank you to Aiden W, Alchemia, Anthony Gole, Sunakirito, Amos, His Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Ben Hoffman, Chesty, Croesus, Donald, Doolin of Gondolin, Fakuna Vasquez, Ghost Protocol, Gogolas, Sarik, James Shea, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kenan Carter, Michael Mullen, My Name Isn't Dio, Moss Gratful, Nat Buskus, Number One, Necrophilin, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Richard Clark, Scott, Scans, Megma Stain, Somnus, The Forsaken One, T-Bag Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McLam, Vacuous Backers, Void Prince Kibo, William Green, and Zazzy7011. Thank you guys all for your support in the insane levels on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible. Possible. What a what a weird adventure this been has been, huh? This is just this is a nuts campaign. This one is one of those weird ones that I think it's gonna take as well. And I think we're gonna have some pretty pretty big characters coming out of it. Thanks as well to Uwu Daddy, Asro, Adam Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordoom, Ben Troke, Buen Gun, Betamus Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris. Corgi Circus, Corey CA, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 7, Emerald Beam, Exploded Knees, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gothamo, Grey, Haji Dumar, Icarus, Ice of the Great, Ida C, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jeebus Crust, Yoran DeVries, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mastolp, Monty, Mosey Sampson, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nostrus, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Organized Confusion, Pan Summon, Panther Pearl, Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Brian Hooper, Sagatair, Sam Keaters, Shari, Smurtworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Zero Z Super Nanny 089, The Insane Pickle, The One Ring, Volunkery, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Will Wade, Wilson Wolfie, Yellow Four, Yorkus, Zach and Zico 2. See you guys all tomorrow.